Good morning, dear comrades. As a result of the previous video about warming up an automatic gearbox, some citizens disagreed with me regarding the fact, and for me it's quite obvious, the fact that the engine temperature does not affect the speed of heating the box at all, or at least its influence is very, very weak. They say the heat exchanger, which is contained in the radiator, is designed especially to equalize the temperature of the engine and the gearbox. Today we are checking if this is true. There really is a heat exchange in the radiator and we cannot ignore its happy existence there. A few words about what a heat exchanger is, in case you do not know this yet. According to Wikipedia, this is a device that serves to exchange heat between two different media. Each of you has the simplest example of a heat exchanger in your apartment. This is a central heating radiator. One medium is the water inside the radiator, the second medium is the air in the room. Hot water heats the radiator, the radiator in its turn heats the air. In this way, heat is exchanged between the two media, water and air. Now let's take some improvised materials and try to build a model of the heat exchanger which operates in the car. We take an ordinary small pan with water. The water is hot. You may not believe me, but it is uh, uh, hot. There is a second element, a cup. It contains cold water. We put the cup in the baby pan. Now guess what will happen next. Hot water from the baby pan will warm the cup, and the cup in turn will warm the cold water. This is a heat exchanger, the most simple, ordinary heat exchanger. This is exactly how it works. Now we'll take the box. Just imagine that this is a car's gearbox. Well, it is not high enough for our model, so we place it upon the cat food. Further, imagine that this is a certain pipe through which liquid can flow, water in this case, from a cup to a box. And this is a pipe through which water flows in the opposite direction. So, if we apply a pump to the system, the water will circulate back and forth. If we provide a sufficiently high temperature in the baby pan, the water in the box will heat up. Thus, the baby pan will heat the water in the cup, the water heated in the cup goes into the box. Well, there it somehow cools down, probably goes back, heats up again, and so on like horses in the never-ending circus show. And this process goes on until the water temperature in the baby pan and the temperature of the box become equal, well, as much as it is possible. If we return back to the car construction, what means what here? The stove is an engine, in this case we consider it simply as a heat source. The box is a gearbox, the baby pan is a cooling radiator, and the cup is the heat exchanger contained in the radiator, the one that should affect the speed of heating up the gearbox. Listen, I'm already dressed. There is some kind of a problem with the heat exchanger. The fact is that there is such a nasty stuff in a car as a thermostat. Because of it, the radiator begins to warm up only when the engine has almost reached its operating temperature. Therefore, in order to understand the influence of the heat exchanger on the gearbox heating speed, I am now trying to warm up the engine. The boiler has been working for 40 minutes already. I'll go start the engine and we will perform a new measurement, specifically on a hot engine with an open thermostat with a hot radiator and we already have a measurement with a closed thermostat. It was the very first in the previous video. And a comparison of these two measurements will show us the truth. Well, I almost forgot the details for geeks. We warm up the gearbox with this selector in the parking position, the car stands still in the same way as the first measurement in the previous video. Then our thermostat was closed and the radiator was cold. Today our thermostat should be open and the radiator is hot. So we will understand comparing these two measurements with each other, the influence of the heat exchanger, if it exists. It seems to me that not, but we will see now. Well, dear comrades, the measurement has been performed. 
I have also managed to change my tires because of some unpredicted snow. The result of the measurements you see in front of you. The blue color indicates the temperature of the engine and gearbox during a cold start last time, with a cold engine. Accordingly, there is a cold radiator, because the thermostat is closed and the heat exchanger doesn't work. The today's results, which we performed with a preheated engine, are marked in red. You see the motor started at an already high temperature and heated up quickly. The thermostat is open, the radiator is hot, I tested it with my hands, the heat exchanger is working. Below, you see two lines, two graphs of the temperature of the box. They, well, there is a little can be understood, of course. Therefore, here is another graph, where only box temperatures are shown. You may see, when the thermostat is open, it warms up a little faster. How much faster? We look at the numbers. The average speed of warming the box with a cold start and a cold engine is about 0.7 degrees Celsius or 1.26 Fahrenheit per minute. When starting with a preheated engine, when the heat exchanger is working, it goes 0.93 degrees Celsius or 1.67 Fahrenheit per minute. The difference is 2.5 degrees Celsius or 4.5 degrees Fahrenheit in 10 minutes of warming up. This is the pure operation of the heat exchanger, and even this is not a fact, because with today's measurement, the fucking burnout of the particulate filter was switched on again, so the revs were some higher. Maybe it's also affected. But even if not, we assume that this is the pure role of the heat exchanger. 10 minutes, and we have 2.5 degrees Celsius or 4.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Is it significant? It seems to me it isn't. Because other factors, such as the work of the inner magic of the box, which we will discuss later, they have a much stronger effect on the temperature of the box, at least 10 times stronger. So if the heat exchanger has been the hero since your childhood, it's a good time to look for another hero. Therefore, the temperature of the engine in the case of warming up the gearbox can be safely not taken into account. Hope you are okay with it. Good night. Subscribe to warm up faster. Спокойной ночи. Подписывайся, чтобы понимать.